Sherry Rogal. I'm a doctor and implementation scientist at the University of Pittsburgh and the Pittsburgh VA. Hey, Matt. Hey, Sherry. My name is Matthew Chinaman, and I'm a psychologist and implementation scientist at the RAND Corporation and the Pittsburgh VA. And Sherry and I are here to talk to you about updated CFER, or the Consolidated Framework for Implementation Research. Wait, what? They updated it? That's right. Laura Damschroeder, you know, the creator of CFER, and her team talked to implementation scientists and surveyed a ton of CFER users and got a lot of great feedback. Wow. Okay, can we first talk about what's the same about CFER? All the domains are the same. Right, Laura? Yep, you got it. The domains that you know and love, those are all the same. Thank heavens. People really love CFER. You know it's been cited over 10,000 times. Okay, so why did it need an update? Because they found that users had ideas, some things just weren't working, and new things have come along, like COM-B. COM-B. You mean that model for behavior change that cites capability C, opportunity O, motivation M, as three key factors capable of changing behavior B? Oh. So this is Charles's fault. Yeah, well, actually it's really no one's fault. It just means that like many things, CIFR is not static. It can grow and evolve. But before we get into all that, let's remind everyone about CIFR, its domains, and tell them about the big picture changes. So, as a refresher, CIFR is a determinants framework, which is just a fancy way to say it's a big list of factors that can impede or help implementation of an evidence-based practice. Also known as an EBP. Right. You can learn about what those key factors are by talking to people who are doing the implementation. CIFR has put all those factors into five domains or categories. Characteristics of the individual, characteristics of the intervention, inner setting, outer setting, and implementation process. Wait a sec, this is one of those changes. Characteristics of the intervention became characteristics of the innovation. That's to acknowledge that often the EVP is new to the organization, but it's still just an EVP, so don't freak out. Aww. So one big change is not really a change, just more of an acknowledgement of the reality. You're sounding very zen, Sherry. Yes, that is me, super zen. Okay, the next change is that the CIFR team wants to acknowledge that the CIFR data you collect is all about perceptions. We all knew that it was, but I guess now it's official. So when you talk about CIFR, you're talking about the people in positions of power to make decisions. Right. The next big change is that they took all the people from the process, the inner setting, the outer setting, and moved them all into the individual domain and focus on their motivation, capability, and opportunity. That's where COMB comes in. Nice. I like that. It's way easier to keep track of that way. Like one big happy family. Next big change, building out the implementation process domain, now it includes key implementation strategies that are very common across implementation efforts. It was confusing before, what you're saying is much better. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about how we use CIFR. We first recommend that you define the edges of the domains. Wait, what? Now I'm confused. Okay, let's think about this like a Mad Lib or a newspaper story. So you just have to fill this in here. Uh, who, what, where, what? Okay, let's see. The innovation, the thing or EBP we want to implement? I'd like to implement ice cream for dinner. <sighs> no, the EBP. Oh, okay. So let's say cancer screening. That's evidence based. Fine. Who? Who's on first? Right, but who's involved in cancer screening? Oh, okay. Patients, doctors, nurses. Right, that goes in the individual's domain. Now, where? Okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Uh, inner setting and outer setting. Inner setting is where the implementation takes place, and outer setting is beyond that. Right, people get confused about the boundaries of the inner setting. It can be a clinic, school, classroom, hospital, boys and girls club. And you pick the edge as the unit of randomization if it's in a research trial. What about the when or how? Ah, uh, yes, this is the implementation process itself. Doing things like planning, adapting the EBP to the setting. So we made this cool graphic to show the domains and you can find it on the CIFR website. See for yourself. And we're gonna have a video for each CIFR domain. So get ready for CIFR Palooza. So what should we call it? The update 2.0? Let's call it Maud. Why Maud? Well, she was my favorite teacher as a child. I think we should stick for updated CIFR. 
You've been science. Implementation science.